Kani here. Let's continue with some more calculations about limiting reactant. So in this problem, we have hydrogen gas reacting with nitrogen and that is producing ammonia. Let's guess first the balance reaction for that. So that's H2, N2 and giving ammonia. So the easy way to balance is 3 and 2 there. Now in order for us to find out a limiting reactant and theoretical yield or maximum yield, what do we do? We take each of the reactant and we take it to the products and then find out which one gives you the smallest amount of product and that will be the limiting reactant. So let's begin. How much we have? We have 48.0 liters to begin with for hydrogen and we have 15 grams of nitrogen to begin with. Let's do the first calculation for hydrogen gas. So we have 48.0 liters of hydrogen and from liters we go to moles. From moles we go to moles of ammonia. That's the mole mole bridge map on our road map and then from moles we are going to liters of ammonia so let's cancel those units out this is liters of H2 this will be moles of H2 and this will be moles of ammonia moles to liters it's one mole equals 22.4 liters if it is a gas at STP. So making use of that, I'm going to put 22.4 here. Same thing here, it's one mole and this is liters of ammonia. So for that liters of ammonia which we have, we are going to put 22.4 liters. And then we had to get the mole ratio. The mole ratio we get from the coefficients that's 2 for ammonia and for H2 it is 3. So when we plug and chug and cancel all the units, what we get is 32.0 liters of ammonia. Okay, that was from beginning point as hydrogen. Let's do the other one with nitrogen now. So the beginning point is nitrogen and that is 15.0 grams. Okay, where do we go from grams? Of course, we go to moles of nitrogen. From moles of nitrogen, we are going to go to moles of product which is moles of ammonia. And from moles of ammonia, we are going to go to liters of ammonia. So, when we cancel the units, we just write the same units diagonally across and then using same principle, we are going to do mole is always number 1 when its grams is molar mass and remember N2 is diatomic so it will be 28.02 grams, 2 atoms of nitrogen. Moles for ammonia is 2. And moles for nitrogen, there is no coefficient. That means it is 1. And again here, we go from moles to liters, which is 22.4. So, we basically cancel the units and multiply the numbers. And the answer which we are getting here is 24.0 liters of ammonia. So, out of these two numbers, obviously, you know, that we have 24.0 liters as the minimum value. That means our beginning point which is nitrogen that is the limiting reactor. And how much is the theoretical yield? That is the one which we get from the limiting reactant. So this will be 24.0 liters. So the question here is what is the limiting reactant? This is the one which gave us the least amount of product and that was nitrogen. And then what was the excess one? 
that was the other one which was hydrogen okay that was simple and then how many liters of hydrogen will be left over we need to go back to our reaction for this and do some calculations so that's the reaction and we began with 15 grams of nitrogen so what we are going to do is we are going to go back from nitrogen to hydrogen and find out how much was used up okay let's get our road map and our grid so that's my beginning point 15.0 grams of nitrogen you go to the moles of nitrogen and then you go to the next point which is moles of hydrogen and from there we are going to go to liters of hydrogen because the quantity of hydrogen was given to us in liters if it was given to us in grams we will go to grams and now we are going to cancel it the units there so there you go and then it's moles to gram mole is number one this is molar mass and it's n2 diatomic so it will be 28.02 don't forget diatomics this is mole to mole ratio this is 3 and nothing means that is 1 so let's plug that in 3 and 1 and this is again mole to liters and 1 mole is 22.4 liters if it is a gas at STP so we are all set there and when we cancel all the units we just simply multiply the numbers and what we get is 36.0 liters of hydrogen so how much we had before we started with 48.0 liters how much was used up 36.02 was used up so it's simple uh, how much how much will be remaining the remaining will be 12.0 liters the last part is how many grams of nitrogen will be left over. What did we say? Nitrogen was a limiting reactant. And if it's a limiting reactant, how much is remaining? Nothing. Because everything gets used up. So how much of nitrogen will be left over? It will be none. Zero. Okay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Bye.